What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony here and today I'm going to do another collab video with you guys. I'm hella excited to do this one. Um, this is a good buddy of mine. Um, I'm going to let y'all guess who it is. I'm not going to reveal who it is until we actually get to the gym. But comment below who you guys think it is. Might be someone famous, might be someone local, who knows. But yeah, so right now I'm going to get um, my first meal of the day in. Uh, I'm going to show y'all what I'm eating. So I got, I believe, maybe like four ounce of 937 turkey here. Then I have this egg omelet looking thing. Uh, it just has three whole eggs because that's all I had left. And then I'm going to microwave these oats with a handful of raspberries and a scoop of um, white chocolate peanut butter. The one I showed you guys in my last video by Peanut Butter and Co. Um, see one serving is going to be two tablespoons um, I think I only had like maybe like one and a half well I think this might be two actually I scooped it twice <laughs> but yeah there's the turkey I was using and then as you guys know I gotta have my green tea that's steeping right now I think it's almost done but yeah that's what I'm having for the first meal um, second meal, I haven't really decided what I want to have yet. Uh, maybe protein shake and I don't know. Actually, maybe some bananas. I'll be on I'll be on campus for a little while, so I might grab something over there. But um, yeah, stay tuned for the collab and maybe the second meal. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, you guys stay tuned. What's up, guys? Anthony here. Um, we just got to a gym. Um, so, if you guys comment below earlier, when I asked you to guess who I'm uh, collabing with, uh, let me introduce y'all to him and see how many y'all got it right. What's good everybody? It's your boy Ricky Jones, hitting back with my boy Anthony, who was kind enough to feature me at one of the best gyms I've probably been to, uh, Dynamic Fitness or Stratiform and Boone or whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, we're, I think we're going to start off with some deadlifts. Yay or nay? Uh, probably some hyper extensions. Hyper extensions. Then we're probably going to do some auxiliary cable movements. He's going to be head honcho in control. I'm just in it for the ride and I'm just in it for the appreciation. Um, but follow your boy on Instagram, Ricky Jones, R I K I J O N E S, fitness. Uh, visit my website, rickyjonesfitness.com. Um, look me up on Snapchat, ricky.drizzy, uh, J R I Z Z Y. Social media is so much stuff, but I try to keep up with it. But give your boy a follow, let your boy know, hit your boy up, and hopefully this video is <laughs> pop. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all stay tuned for the workout. All right, we're gonna start off this back and by workout, like I said, with some hyper extensions. And the main reason why we do this is to really uh, loosen up the lower back because we're planning on doing some deadlifts in a little bit. So, um, as you can see here, I'll, I'll keep my uh, hands close together, especially when I um, add weight or I hold on to a weight. And my boy Ricky here would keep his hands on his head. Um, it's just a variation of a hyperextension, whatever works for you or how you want to do it, as long as you're getting um, the stretch and contraction in your lower back, and that's all that really matters. Alright, um, next up, I'm not a really strong pull-up person, but I've been trying to incorporate this in my routines more often to really increase the strength of my back, but um, yeah, we moved on to uh, sort of a wide stance um, or wide grip pull-up. Um, as you can see, Ricky's here is doing it with ease. Um, he's done a lot more um, pull-ups probably than I have, um, so he's a lot better than it, at it than me. But hey, we, we took tests from each other and we tried to, um, he tried to help me out with my pull-ups and um, really teach me how to uh, increase my pull-up game. But yeah. All right, next up we got a close grip pull-up. And the reason why I do this is to really um, stretch the um, front lats. Um, those are my more lagging parts. And also it's a really good way to uh, burn your bicep. Um, Normally, I don't feel fatigued um, doing this as a third exercise, but today we were just dying at that um, the third exercise by there. All right, and like Ricky said, we're doing some auxiliary cable movements. Uh, we're using the cable to do a underhanded uh, 
kind of a close grip pull down. Again, this also works the front lats and really allows you to fully stretch at the top and contract at the bottom. Um, I grip at like the easy bar part of it and um, Ricky will grab at the very end of the bar. Uh, like I said, we both have our own variations of doing certain exercises. Um, as long as we're both getting the stretch and contraction in the muscle that we are targeting, it's all that matters. All right, um, here's the main stuff we wanted to get to. So we got some deadlifts. Uh, Ricky here is doing um, conventional deadlifts. And um, he's. it looks like he's doing like a um, RDL in a way or a stiff leg, but that might be his way of doing deadlifts and he might feel um, better doing that. And as for me, my sumo, um, if you haven't watched my other back and by video, my sumo stance is a lot different from most people. It's a lot closer and um, sometimes it doesn't look like I'm using my hips or my back um, in this stance. But um, I can admit uh, when we were doing deadlifts here, my, my lower back and my hips were a little bit more tighter than usual. I probably could have spent a little bit more time um, loosening them up. But yeah, we wanted to get hit a lot of volume today, so uh, we hit maybe about like six to eight or eight to ten reps um, as we're going up. We didn't want to go too heavy, but then again, we still want to go as heavy as possible while maintaining good form and getting our reps in. So we both um, stayed together. We did uh, 225 here, and I'm doing it like my powerlifting stands, but with more volume or more reps in it. Um, and I believe next up, I think we went straight to. 315 yeah so um i had to set the camera down for ricky here um i had to go out and do something real quick so he went ahead and got his set in and he's doing 315 with ease um has pretty good speed off the floor and um he likes to hold at the top but i personally don't in a way like that um but i just like lock on the top and bring it down um, as you can see here and shoot my hips forward but like I said, we both have our own variations, so it's no big deal. We're both getting our reps in and doing deadlifts how we do it. All right, so next up, we moved on to uh, 365. And man, 365 felt like 455 or something. I don't know, but we are both struggling a little bit with the 365, so we kind of kept a little bit low weight just to um, really fatigue our nervous system and just hit at least five, four, five, six reps, somewhere around there. Uh, we didn't want to bitch out and just hit like one or two reps, so we gave it a little bit more effort into the 365. And then we did some drop sets and we called it quits after that. We went upstairs and then after that we had um, T-bar rows. Here um, in the video we're doing a, draw, a double drop set, I believe. With two plates and a quarter, we built up with one plate, two plate and a quarter, and then the last set we decided to do a drop set or two a double drop set. As you can see, I'll do as much as I can. Uh, two plates and a quarter, he'll strip it. I'll do as much as I can with two plates, and then he'll strip it, and then you'll go to failure on the last one. And as you can see here, I'll hold at the top to really, really work um, on that squeeze and stretch on the last rep. And like I said, Ricky is a, is a lot stronger than me. And he looks better too. So um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he is an AMBF pro. So it it, it was kind of um, intimidating working out with him. But hey, he's he's just a person just like me. And a title doesn't mean anything. So we just worked out and had fun. As you can see here, Ricky's doing the same thing with two plates and a quarter. He did as much as he can. I stripped it off. And now he's doing two two, uh, two plates. And then he's I stripped it off for him. And then he's... Um, doing a burnout with the one plate until failure and uh, drop set is a really good way to add volume into your routine if you don't have that much volume if you're doing just three by three sets of ten for all your exercises add a drop set or two and you'll really feel the burn with the muscles that you're targeting all right um, this is one of my favorite um, lat isolation movements it's uh, DB rows um, so I believe we started with 70, which we found was too light. I think when it was like 80, 90, and hundreds or something. I think it's 110 or 120 here in the video. And uh, we both stuck with the same way. Like we both started at 70, 80, 90, 1, 110, and I 120 I think it's in that video. So um, yeah, 
as you can see I have straps I put them on when we were doing t-bar rows which um, I mean straps get you a kind of a bad reputation but I think it's just an accessory for your lifting like my grip was already loosening up from heavy uh, rack pulls earlier in the week and then we were doing heavy deadlifts today so I had to use my um, straps um, I'm not using them here it may look like I am but I just keep them on because I'm just too lazy to take them on and off so I just keep them on but I don't really strap them in and um, I don't really want to use them on these DB rows because th th that way it was kind of light for me all right and we moved on to seated cable rows um, Ricky had told me he gave me a little bit of advice on this one I, I was kind of swaying my back a little bit too far back and um, he told me to just try to keep my back straight a little bit and then once I tried it it felt I felt the contraction a lot better so I believe here that we did uh, a drop set on seated cable rolls as well as you can see Ricky has switched it a little bit earlier in the video and we're doing it through the uh, drop set till failure <clears throat> And then it was my turn. As you can see, that's why I, I was talking about how my back's not, it's, well, it's going a little bit past the, the 90 degree angle here, but I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible and really squeezing the last when I pull back. And then, like I said, we're doing a drop set. So I dropped it maybe like 20, 30 pounds or to the first, to the weight I had on the first set. And then I try to do as much as I could till failure, which see the camera rolls, it's, it's tiring, like, you'll feel it in your forearms, you'll feel it in your lats, you'll feel it in your bicep. It's hard doing drop sets with uh, the seated cable rows. Alright, so we moved on to this machine, um, called, uh, what I call the low row. It's kind of like a DB row, but as a machine. Um, I don't know if many gyms have this one, but I think this one's a hammer strength machine as well. But um, it has like a, what, like a 120 degree angle on it, so where you can just kind of just row it. Um, it targets the lower lats and I think like the rhomboid and all that good stuff back there. Um, so the way I'm doing it, I like doing it um, isolation wise, like single arm at a time where Ricky was doing it with both arms. Either way it works, but for me, I feel like I'll get a more better stretch and squeeze by isolating them like this, doing one arm at a time. And then I believe we uh, finished our back exercise with the low rows, and then we moved on to so a little bit of biceps. Um, I don't think Ricky was planning on doing biceps today, but I wanted to hit uh, a little bit of biceps. So I think we did hammer curls, like a good six sets of like 12 to 15 with these uh, dope ass 30 pound <laughs> dumbbells. I don't know. I never really used those. They just sit around at uh, the one next to those uh, weights right there in front of us. So we were just like, why not look cool and just use them? But yeah, we did a lot of sets of um, hammer curls just to finish off the workout. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. All right guys, that's the workout. Um, I'm about to get some post-workout. My boy Ricky here has some things to go do. So um, y'all stay tuned for that. And I'll link his um, stuff in under my description and in the video too, maybe like somewhere down here. But yeah, any last words, man? Uh, it was a pleasure working out with you, first of all. Um, we did a lot of volume today. I'm sure once he edited it out, this is gonna be like a 16. I think he said he never actually had a 15 minute video. I think today that gets broken down. He's, he's definitely gonna have a lot of footage from today. From our deadlifts, to our pull-ups, to our doing our hammer curls, to us joking around. Um, it's a lot of volume, but it was a pleasure coming to this great facility and a pleasure working out with my boy Ant. So, y'all stay tuned for new more, uh, new videos from him. Pay attention for new videos from your boy. RickyJonesFitness.com, at RickyJonesFitness. Uh, Ricky.Drizzy, even though I don't care about Snapchat, I don't get it in that much. So, follow me on Instagram. Check my way out. Alright, All right. and you guys stay tuned for post-workout meal. What's up guys, um, so I got a little too hungry for a post-workout meal, and I kind of already ate it, so let me show you all the leftovers. It was just all rotisserie chicken and some Taco Bell hot sauce. That's it, I was too eager to eat and um, I didn't have any rice or any carbs to eat with it, so I'll just like, I'll eat my carbs later. Um, I'm probably going to snack on some pretzels right now, uh, watching some 
Barbell Brigade right now. Um, and I'm probably going to play a little bit of Halo or Call of Duty or something and then um, get back to editing videos. So yeah, um, after this meal, I'm probably just gonna do a protein smoothie and just call it a day. I'm hella tired. We had a really good workout. We were there for a long time. You know, just talking, catching up, and you know, teaching each other some new things, but yeah, so I'm um, end the vlog here. So hope you guys liked the video. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And again, I'm gonna link my boys, um, all his social media stuff in the description below, and then I'll have it on the video maybe somewhere around here. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.